my name is Sarah Glick. Uh, I'm an electrical engineering contractor. And so numeric design is my consulting company. So what that means is I work with clients um, on their projects and help give them advice and contribute to the design and the overall project. I work remotely with some clients. So that means that I work from my own office. Um, and then some days I work out of a client's office. So usually it's a mixture of, you know, emails, meetings, design time, or sometimes lab time, depending on what part of the project we're on. So if it's earlier in the project, a lot of the design is done on the computer. Um, and then, you know, once I get the circuit board back, I bring it into the lab and then we power it up and we validate it and try to find all the problems and characterize it. I helped work on the new Molecule Mini air purifier, which oh. is a smart connected air purifier that was just announced. So that was a fun project. For electrical designs, it usually follows the same process for most projects. So we started with an idea of what the company wanted to build. So they had a product in the market already, and they knew that they wanted to build a smaller version that was lower cost. So we started out with the high level goals of what it would look like, what capabilities it would have, how much it would cost. Um, and then from there, my job was to figure out what components should we use to create the electrical design of this project. Um, and so once we figured out the architecture, then we worked with a contract manufacturer to start the design process. So creating the schematic for the circuit board and then also doing the layout, which is how you physically arrange all of the, the chips and the, you know, the copper wires that go between mm -hmm. all the chips yeah. and yeah. where do you place the radio in relation mm -hmm. to the rest of the product. And so that, you know, you need to have good radiation patterns. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a lot of work that that's involved. You do your design and then you get it back. And of course, nothing works perfectly oh. the first time. So it's very iterative. Like you are constantly refining the design until it gets to the point where you're you're ready to ship it and mass produce it. Some days are great. Some days are hard. It really depends. I think the thing that I've learned the most is that who you surround yourself with is really important. Um, so if you surround yourself with people that are really positive and supportive and, you know, just want you to do the best job that you can, like I've been really successful when I do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, there's always going to be people who I think look at women and expect you to prove yourself, even if you've been working in an industry for a long time they still expect that you need to prove yourself. And to me, that's that's pretty problematic. And those are not the people that I wanna be around. Because I've worked on different types of projects, like I did a wearable, I did self-driving trucks, I did a appliance. Um, it means that I have a lot of breadth of technical knowledge, which is always gonna be applicable to some other project. So I can say like, oh, you know, project A had this problem and now I'm working on project B and it has a similar problem. I know how I've solved this in the past. And so you can kind of skip some of the learning that you would do on a totally new project and just like go ahead to the answer. So you speed up the process. Mm -hmm.